Hey guys, it's Fancy, and you're watching the Good Vibes Network, and I have a little bit of chit-chat to have with you about David freaking Blanchard. So as some of you might know if you followed this case, David Blanchard is the chairman of the Vision Con that was the con place that Gypsy supposedly met certain men and had certain relations with them, and it's supposedly where they met David and Kimberly Blanchard. No relation whatsoever, supposedly. And by the way, this is all allegedly, in my opinion, for entertainment and educational purposes only, not meant to bully or harass in any way. Okay, so if you remember, he's the man who went through the window. Now, I've got lots of questions about him going through the window. I don't believe he went through the window. Um, there are conflicting stories between the police officers on scene as to what actually happened. But, you know, they made the call at 3.13 p.m., and they supposedly said some things about that call and afterwards that I'm going to show you in this article that don't match up with anything else. So the funny thing is, is that David has given any number of different stories attached to this. Most people say three, but I also think we haven't seen his entire interrogation or interview with the police. And I think there could be more lies with inside of there. I know that I caught him in one of him saying, Do, does she, does, can she really walk? You've known since 2009, David, that she could walk. I'm pretty sure you've known it a long damn time. And I'm pretty sure that hmm, you might be the one that we should really be suspicious of. But let me grab some screenshots. You know why I love my receipts. So this is David, and that over there is his wife, Kim. And if you look down here, you can pause to read. This is from... Uh, June 18th, 2015, so just three days after they declared the body dead and all of that. Oh, by the way, there's a whole discrepancy with that. I'll talk about that another time. Um, but he said that he was in the home on Volunteer Way, just north of Springfield, for less than five minutes as he looked around to make sure his friend, Claudinia Dee Dee Blanchard, and her daughter, Gypsy, weren't lying um, in danger or whatever, buried there right, right inside the pink house, okay? So that's the first screenshot of this article. Now, I'm just going to give you some highlights going forward here. You can go find this article right there. So this is the second page, and he says that the police on the scene gave him quasi-permission. No, David, you do not have quasi-permission. In fact, all three officers told you, no, you could not go into the house. You argued with them. Your wife told them that you were close friend, family friends, and the rest of the family, people, family friends all said, oh, no, they wouldn't mind. No, no, no. Well, you supposedly still broke in the window. No, I don't think you went through a window. I think you went through the door, but... <sighs> One of the officers was fired because you did so. So, you know, you've got that on your head. Um, but this little statement right here. I didn't notice anything that would indicate there was anything wrong in there, Blanchard said. Let me show you the next. So this is the sentence up there. The very first sentence that I have a real lot of problem with. Um, he says there was no bloody kiki and no foul odor and no decomposing body. It wasn't until the days that followed that David Blanchard realized what he missed on Sunday afternoon and what he had been missing for the past six years. Blanchard and his wife were not related to Dee Dee and Gypsy, became concerned about a vulgar po message was posted to the mother and daughter's joint Facebook account Sunday afternoon. They went to check on the family, but after David found nothing inside the home, the couple left. They did not. She was there all the way up until 9 p.m. where she was responding on the DGIP Facebook page where we have the bitch's dead. So no, Kimberly, I don't know what you said, but you did not go on about your freaking day. You stood there the entire time telling people things, and I just want to know why, because... Yeah, I want to know why. So continuing on, one of our viewers sent this in, all highlighted up for me and everything. So David says he was duped by Dee Dee and Gypsy, just like everyone else, and he wants a chance to explain himself and defend his family. Um, was that in 2009, 2011, or 2015, David? I need some clarification here. Um, so on the home search, David said he knows why he didn't find the body, but this information he cannot disclose at this time, but it's because of the ongoing investigation. Now, I'm sorry, you can't tell me why you couldn't find the body in that house besides the fact that you've given three different versions of the story. There was a door, there's not a door, the light worked. Oh, the light was on when the cops got in there. Um, I, I, didn't, I didn't go down the hallway. I mean, you've given every number of freaking excuses as to why you didn't see this body, but none of the excuses that you've given makes me think about how it, you can't disclose this information at the time. 
that's highly sus as fuck. Let's keep going on. Um, what he did point to was a response Arnott gave Monday when asked why the neighbor who entered the house didn't find the body. Arnott replied that there is a reason why the neighbor didn't find the body and added, I don't feel that there is any specific suspicious, anything suspicious related to the neighbor coming in and checking. You don't find anything suspicious about the neighbor being so adamant that he has to go through the through the house and get in there that he finds nothing. He can't identify anything. There's no putrid smell, even though she's been rotting for four to five days. Uh, there, the air conditioner supposedly turned down to 45, which, um, hmm, no, not when you got in there it wasn't. So I'm thinking 66 is what you said it to, Dave. So the body would start to thaw. And then you guys couldn't get in there till 12, 18 the next morning. So what reasoning is, what reasoning? Please, please do enlighten me. So these are some comments that were made um, from different people. You can pause and read. And you can read this one here. And there is at five something in the afternoon is when he supposedly went through the window, according to Kimberly and them. And the house was then supposedly by the police said cleared. Well, I don't know how the police can clear a house they haven't been into. But hey, you know, I guess we're not actually doing anything accurate in this case at all. So why would we expect that to be done properly? You know, I'm sorry. Asking for a friend. Why can't we do things correctly the first time? And here we are on June 15th, 2015, and that's David Blanchard right up there. And he is hosting an actual vigil for Dee Dee and Gypsy. And by 535, June 15th, they had already declared Dee Dee dead. And by the 16th, um, just a little bit later than this, um, they had declared that gypsy was found safe so it wasn't even much longer i think it was the 15th that, that happened on too so you know david i'd really love to know what you were thinking standing here doing this when clearly you're sus as fuck you can't tell the truth to save your life dude and can i ask you a question why'd you tell the cops your name is charles i mean that's just really weird we all know that's not your name your wife was standing right there when you did it so hey you're panini pressed have a good one from The Good Wife, serving up true crime, one dish at a time. Bye, guys. Mwah. And for those of you that want the timestamps of the uh, Facebook posts, I will be putting those up again in a little bit. They are off by an hour because I am in Eastern and they are in Central, so you'll have to convert those with the timestamps. Alrighty. Have a good one. Bye.